Hey everybody, Brian here with another Clash of Clans video, and today we have a very exciting war. It is North 44 versus Quantum's Web. Now these clans are both top clans in Clash of Clans. They have been around for a very long time, and uh, they both have outstanding achievements in their own rights. But um, today, guys, I'm not going to highlight my own attacks. I'm going to highlight some other players' attacks, and then tomorrow I'll be featuring my own attacks. So let's go ahead and look at some of the attacks we've done so far. We're about five hours into this war, um, and we are ahead by six stars. We have two more attacks than them. That means we're averaging a little bit better than them. Uh, as far If they can three-star, though, they can catch up on two of them. But we still have a long way to go. I'll give you guys the full update tomorrow. But I wanted to bring you some early sneak peeks and do a little bit of uh, extra coverage on this war just because it is that important. Anyway, let's get started with the first attack here. Um, we got one by Necromancer. Pretty interesting. He opted for the 4 Earthquake level 3. Now, this is why I wanted to show this attack. Pretty interesting what he decides to do here. A lot of times with these off-center bases, you'll see dragons or uh, jumping into the center here. This one's not as off-center as most of them, um, but he has an interesting strategy. So he broke all those walls there. He's going to head straight towards that cannon. He's going in for the ground attack. Um, spread out all his wizards nicely. He's just got a good little spread there. Hasn't run in any, into any giant bombs yet. He's going to have issues with walls, probably. So he got through those walls nice. And he gets through the uh, level 11 walls as well right there. So very nice. His troops are starting funnel. I'm kind of concerned that if there's a giant bomb there. Is it going to get him? Okay, I got one of them. Or two of them, I believe. So his wizards, he actually got kind of lucky there. There's another giant bomb, as you can see. So maybe this guy has been attacked like that before. Um, his, his troops are just fine right now. They're getting hit by the uh, multi-target Inferno Tower. Not not very much. The Queen's just doing her thing. That open compartment with the Earthquake spell was just beautiful. He's at 34%. Um, I, I know it kind of gave, gave it away when I showed you guys the uh, stars at the beginning. But I just wanted to see these attacks and uh, show you how, how they kind of played out. Um, so, so far, he's at 40%. He's on the Town Hall. has his Queen's ability. He's looking good. No CC to worry about. No heroes to fight. Doesn't look like any more traps are coming. He's at 43%. Still has his hero. Still has some uh, troops to pick off buildings if he needs to. I think he'll be okay. And, uh, yeah, just a beautiful attack by Necromancer. And uh, he guarantees us the two stars. So, awesome attack by him. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, next up we have an attack by George Yao or Jorge Yao, however you want to call him. And uh, he's going to be using dragons on Ed the Noob. Um, here we go. That I believe that's the same YouTuber clash with Ed. I'm not sure if that's also his account. He has another one named Z Jodecast. Um, here, let me just close that really quick. And uh, yeah, he's going to be going in with dragons here. Let's see what he decides to do. So this guy's air sweeper is pretty interesting layout. He's defending this bottom part really, really well. He goes ahead and lightnings the top. Um, Smart move by him. He puts down his Lava Hound for the air defense. Really, really good dragons right now. Um, you can get over walls really, really easy. And they're always a guaranteed one star, pretty much. Um, the only issues I've been having in multi our matchmaking, like real matchmaking, is the I haven't been able to get my heroes to go straight for the Town Hall, so that's kind of been unfortunate. Um, Lava Hound in the CC, though. Let's see how the dragons decide to handle this. The dragons are going to go ahead and bust down the Lava Hound. It's actually taking a while for his dragons. He's out of Rage Spells, but he puts down a Jump Spell. That's pretty interesting to see with dragons, the Jump Spells and the Heroes. I guess it, I guess it's really good um, for war attacks, though. Pretty interesting. So has his Queen's ability. Queen's on the cannon. She goes ahead and takes that out. She's going on the Town Hall now. Um, really nice. All the defenses are distracted. So good Queen's ability there to go ahead and distract all the defenses. He's at 40% already. Still has a bunch of dragons left. Actually, how many does he have left? Am I missing something? Okay, yeah. So he's got uh, two dragons left. These are level 5 dragons. They're not to be trifled with. Um, he's going to go ahead and hit that storage. Is that 3 or 2? Uh, I think that's just 1 now, yeah? Okay, so yeah. He's at 45%. Still has some cleanup troops. And he's got these nice buildings up here. Um, that's what I'm seeing. What else can he pick off? He could probably pick off that building down there on the bottom as well, but he's going to go ahead and play it safe. Um, why not pick the top buildings when they're free? And uh, he's at 46%. Is he seeing anything else? Yeah, he's going to go ahead and get the bottom one too. So good eye by George there to go ahead and pick that one off as well. And uh, we're going to fast forward this one a little bit. It's probably going to take a minute. So that's going to put him at 48%. Will he get that last building? Wow, he gets that last building down there as well. And... 
Archer just to finish it off. So good job two starring there, George. Very nice attack. Um, it's going to put us up to a good start. Good start right here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next attack, guys. All right, he here we go on the third attack, guys. We are joined here by Killer of North 44, and he's opting for the 10 dragons. He has a Valk in there, which I thought was pretty weird, um, but let's see how it works out for him. So once again, Quantum's Web, Sport in the off-center town hall base. It's really popular, the anti-three-star base. Um, and and it's, just, it's just really, really good. Sometimes you don't two-star these ones, and it, they're always really, really close. So let's see how this one goes. Killer's going to go in here. Where is he going to attack from? I don't even know. I haven't watched this replay yet. So he's going to go ahead and lightning the bottom air defense there. Generally with dragons, you want to go ahead and do that. Put your lava hound down and then send in some balloons for the other air defense. Let's see if he's going to go ahead and do that. I think he wants to take out that cannon first before he does. Yeah, so he's going to go for the cannon. I guess he wanted to clear out some defenses to make sure his balloons don't stray too far off path. Looks like they're going to anyway. They're going to go to that archer tower. Okay. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Lava Hound's coming out of the CC. Pretty scary. Um, is he going to get that air defense? Yeah, that air defense stood for a while. These bases are designed to make balloons go around that air defense. Um, Lava Hound's in the CC. Pretty standard right now because poison spells aren't really going to deal with that. Um, nice poison spell to deal with the Lava Pups, however, as I say that. Um, but as far as the chunky Lava Hound goes, it's going to take a little bit of the Dragon's time to take that down. He's at 43% already hasn't even dropped his heroes that's why um dragons are normally a really safe one star because if his town hall was in the center i don't think his dragons would have been able to reach it and then it would have been a gamble to see if his heroes went for that so he would have been at 43 percent and uh had to choose whether he w whether or not he wanted to risk it going for the center um but as you can see he's at 46 percent just gonna put his heroes down clean up rather easily and go ahead and pick up the two star there so good attack by killer we are repping um, I also wanted to show you guys some attacks from Quantum's Web and see what they're doing. I don't want to be, I don't want to be uh, biased here and just pick our clan. So let's go ahead and move on to some Quantum's Web's attacks. All right, first up we have me on the defense, and we have Mr. Barry Lolt going ahead and trying to see what he can do against my base. Now I chose not for an anti three star base, and I also chose to go with a single target in front of tower. Just because I like to be a little bit more risky, and if we do get a win, it's going to be awesome. Um, so let's go ahead and see what happens. This guy's using Go Wee Wee here. Um, he probably sees I have that single target. He's coming in from the side. Two wall breakers go down to that spring trap. That was awesome. So he's going to use a lot of his wall breakers to get through there. Um, I opted to put my level 11 walls in the center. Um, I still need to work on my walls. That's what I'm kind of focusing on right now with any gold I get from sniping. Uh, three golems are going to come in on the side. Queen is going to start hitting the golems. The queen's easily lured out on this base, so not really sure if I like that. She's going to go down here pretty shortly. Um, Expos start doing work. Here comes all the wall breakers. Let's see if they can get through. Nice rage spell for them. Yeah, they're going to get through pretty easily there, and then those other wall breakers are going to head off to the side. So here they come. Multi-target Inferno Tower doing work over there, and that giant bomb is going to absolutely decimate some of his witches as well as his, um, as well as his wizards. Here comes all my ground troops. Nice free spell there by him. Actually, very nice free spell by him. Um, King's veering off to the side. So nice wall breakers. He got really lucky, to be honest, with his queen heading in towards the center. Um, and the Inferno Tower not being able to reach her. So very good job by him. Didn't even need to pop her ability. Pretty lucky, to be honest, to have his queen go into the center with his base. Normally what happens is they just start funneling around this base and going all around and then anything that does get to the center will get taken out by the single target in front of tower but we didn't get lucky this time 47 percent 47 percent still is he gonna take that out yes he is 48 percent still has some troops to pick off and as you can see he's just gonna drop it up there and he's gonna go ahead and two star me so nice attack by mr barry Lolts there to take me down in this war um, but let's see what else quantum's web has to offer all right, guys, next up we have Killer being attacked by Killers991. Um, so this base is a very popular high-level base right now, and it uh, looks like he's going to opt to attack it from the ground. This one's actually kind of hybrid from one. Um, normally you'll see a square center with this base, but it's pretty interesting what this uh, Killer guy opted to do. So let's see how he's going to attack it. looks like he's coming in from the bottom. 
Going to put down that golem, check for any giant bombs before he puts down his wall breakers. Pretty smart there. These bases are always trippy because you have no idea where the giant bombs are. I'm sure there's one chilling behind that cannon as well as that archer tower. Let's see what his uh, wizards want to do. Um, where are all his wizards? I guess he didn't have very many, did he? Um, here comes his witches, though. Pretty smart here. I guess he saw that single target in front of the tower and was like, I'm going to freeze that multi-target one. We'll be good. Witches are going to do it for us. Nice wall breakers going into that rage spell. Do they make it through? They do. They punch a wall through right right through there. Awesome. So heroes are still fine. They're untouched. Teslas are going to start beating down. He still has a freeze spell and a rage spell. Beautiful. So very clean entrance onto this base. Normally this base is one that will make your uh, troops veer off to the side. Another freeze spell. Um, for the multi-target, I guess that was the right choice because of his witches. Um, I'd be more concerned about the queen right now with the single target in front of tower, although he does have the royal cloak available to him, so not a bad decision by killers. Pretty smart attack. He's at 46%. Queen's still full HP with the ability hitting the town hall. You always know you're in good hands when that happens, and the traps are cleared out. Gonna pop his queen's ability so the single target in front of tower doesn't take him out too much. 54%, 56%, and wow. He does a great job on that base, believe it or not. I think had he had his queen behind a golem, he might have been able to three-star that. So that was that was a really good attack by uh, Killers from Quantum's Web. Let's go ahead and move on to the last attack of the day from Quantum's Web and then kind of do an analysis of the first day and how's it going. All right, guys. Next up, we have Abacito from Quantum's Web hitting Cena.fz from North44. We have another ground attack on a maxed level base. Everything's maxed out on this base, I believe. Um, I'm probably missing something. You guys are going to call me out on it. Two minutes left, though. Let's see what this guy has to offer. Where is he going to attack from? Pretty strong base here. These bases are generally good because that inner ring around the town hall doesn't have defenses, so a lot of your golems and stuff like that will start hovering around as well as Lava Loonian. Um... And the one thing I don't like about this base is where that air sweeper is. It's kind of just inviting people to attack you from the side. But this guy opts to attack from that side. Puts down five golems. Five golems into the jump spell along with a beautiful line of wizards to take out all those buildings. Multi-target Inferno Tower is going to do some damage. Where's the freeze? Let me see the freeze. He's being very patient with the freeze. Where's the freeze? There's the freeze. Okay. So uh, some of his uh, wizards got taken out by that. Not very many though. Um, I would have been a little bit sooner with the freeze, but who knows? I'm not this guy, so let's see how he's attacking. His queen's still fine. Lava Hound's going to distract, as the Lava Hound does. Just sends your queen off in a panic. Um, sometimes veering her off to the side, just like that. And this guy's going to get really lucky with his wizards being able to take that out. Normally, wizards don't survive long enough to see the center. Um, the queen did veer off to the side. That's the effect of Lava Hounds at its finest. Um, King is going to go ahead and die over there. Oh. Okay, he's going to go ahead and die over there, but it is already too late. He's at 57%. His queen's still in really, really good health, and there's golems being attacked. Wow. So let's see what this guy has. 40%. I'm sorry, 40%. Uh, level 40 queen, and he's at 59%. Still full HP. Ooh. I don't know. He still has a whole bunch of defenses to mess with, though. Let's go ahead and fast forward and see what happens. Oh, wow. Yeah, so the archer tower and cannon are going to switch focus onto that. Not good there. Had it kept hitting the uh, golem, I think he would have had a little bit more success or maybe a better chance because that golem would have punched through eventually. But that's going to put him up to 77%. So beautiful attack there, guys. I kind of went ahead and showed you um, really good attacks from both sides today. Um, I'm going to do more of my attacks as well as the final, final countdown tomorrow. Um, but so far, really good war. Um, we've both had some fails on each side, as you can see. Um, some people aren't doing as uh, well. We have more attacks in, but there's still a long way to go in this war, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this first day of North 44 versus Quantum's Web, and I'm hoping we can pull this one out and uh, show a victory. Um, but yeah, I will catch up to you guys tomorrow with the update on this war. Follow me on Twitter if you guys haven't already. Um, I'll be posting kind of updates on how that's going on there as well. Um, but let me know what you guys thought about this video. Let's see if we can hit 600 likes, and you guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.